I like to use these little plastic uh, containers to make things out of, which this in here we're going to make a, uh, some wind turbine blades out of. Um, you can find them all over the place. You can find them floating in the ocean, down in the creeks. Uh, they're all over the place. I like picking them up and cleaning them up and try to make something out of them. This is 12 gallons. It has the gallons on the side. It had uh, some kind of bio powder detergent in it. I wash them out real good. Sometimes it stinks. I wash it out with some soap or whatever. But and there's a guy in town. He sells them for three or four bucks, depending if you want 12, 35, 55 gallon. But I take a little jigsaw. And what I do is I stick it down in this hole and cut it right across this little line here. I'll take out this plug. Sometimes there's a big plastic plug here. They're real easy to pop out. You just put a screwdriver in there, turn them a few times. Uh, but anyways, I take the jigsaw and cut right on across the handle there. All the way down the side, there's this line from the crease when they made it, but it's kind of hard to see in the video, but I follow it and cut it. It goes on across the bottom there. And again, here's one that I've already cut. I just kind of cut up the side. Right on through the handle. But when uh, you're done, you'll have a... Two halves of the barrel there. What I do then, I just kind of mark a little line from corner to corner. And then I just cut them. I usually turn them over and mark them and then the magic marker and I cut straight on across there with that jigsaw. Just corner to corner. And then I'll end up like this. I'll have two of them that'll end up like that. So you'll have two blades out of one barrel or four blades out of one barrel, two blades out of one half. And then they end up looking like this. And these would be my three blades that I'll use my wind turbine motor. They'll look like this. It'll actually be a vertical wind turbine blades on a wind turbine motor. Even if you like for me to make you some of these and mail them to you, nah, I could probably do that for a little fee. Just let me know if you want to try a little project yourself with them, and I'll sure gather up some and cut them up for you and ship them off. But um, we'll do the next step and put this on my wind turbine. There'll be a little rod of some sort going through here. A lot of times I use gas pipe and a round plate, and then I'll mount it to my turbine. I've tried to break these blades. I've even kicked them, threw sledgehammers at them, all kinds of things. And I cannot break these blades. Stomp them. You can go through some torture. That's what I like about them. The uh, other turbine I have probably went through a few blades. First time is when I was putting it up and I kind of dropped it and uh, broke a blade. Then when I put it up, it... Uh, I fell off the pole in a big storm that night. Replaced the blades again, but these blades here, I don't know. We'll find What I like about these on, after you cut them, and you turn them over, this would be the part that's going into the wind. So it's already got this curve made out, the natural curve of the barrel that works good so it'll flow into the wind better. How I attach the turbines to the gas pipe is get some of these hose straps. I just slip them on there. They're half inch, pipe's half inch. And how I lock them in place so they don't turn is I drill an eighth inch hole into in through there and put a screw in there. Attach on to the turbine blade like that. And then 
with the screw through there. One down here at the other end. I'm gonna attach one fin. I'm gonna do three hose, I mean do three fins real quick, knock them out, show you what they look like. Blades and shaft. The half inch coupling down at the bottom. Let's screw right onto the shaft of my generator. Lighting kind of a little bad there, but I got all them fastened down. Here's my SkyMax vertical axle wind turbine. I ordered it from Missouri Wind and Solar. Came in the other day, kind of excited to hook it up. Like I said, the wind turbine blades that I'm making, this one I'm putting on, comes with the um, browning mount rectifier. mounting bolts underneath here is where the rectifier hooks up to these three leads right here the um, mounting bracket mounts up to those bolts right there let me see turn it the right way then your pole mount bolts go through there mount to your pole some pretty pretty thick stuff there but what I like about this ordering this I was kind of wondering what kind of hub I was going to work with um, happens to be that I've been working with this gas pipe and that's a half inch collar there it screws right down on it or you can take this bolt off and mount your hub on it. But the wind turbine blades that I'm making will screw right down in the top of that. Right here is one of the turbine blades that I made. Underneath of it. Got the half inch pipe. This coupling will screw right onto. Yeah, a different angle. Just tighten that down. Fasten on it. With a little bit of luck, we can make some decent current. All we need now is a little bit of wind. Buddy of mine's having me making one of these for his camper to maintain the batteries on it. That's pretty low profile. That's what I like about the generator. It's a couple inches, maybe. It's nice and thin, not too bulky. Looks good. The wind turbine blades, you can do all kinds of things with them. You can paint them different colors, cut little designs out of them. mounted up pretty nice out the lake on his camper form or wherever he goes. Got my SkyMax vertical wind turbine generator that I purchased from Missouri Wind and Solar with my 
wind turbine blades that I cut out of 12 gallon plastic drums. The cords right up underneath here, just for a little test run. Got it going around with the plug in right here. I can unplug it and plug it back in. Some 12 gauge wiring to the reflect rectifier. Put a little 12 volt light there. I just barely moved this sucker. It lights it up. I'm gonna stick this volt reader on here and see how many volts it's getting out of there. Let me just give these little blades just a little, just a little spin and see what we got. And I'm already, I'm just barely spinning them and I'm getting 12 volts. He claimed that this generator will get 100 RPM, 60 volts. So. I'm just barely spinning it. I'll give it a little good drop. There we go, 18. And that's just barely spinning it. My hand. Excited to see what uh some wind will do and get it mounted on top of that camper. Get it hooked up to the batteries. That's what we get.